Hello, those watching this on YouTube. Here is another anime rant. The oddly named PG anime Triple X Holic. Now, let me just say this this anime is weird. I mean, weird. And I know that there's a second season, but I can't find it anywhere if you guys want to punch it in down below. But right now I'm doing an anime rant on the first season. And I'm just going to say this. It has a first person ending. That is awesome. There are so many people to love and hate in this anime. But, let's start with Kimiro Watanuki. This kid's got it rough. Okay? He's being tortured by spirits, which is how he finds Yuko's shop. And, throughout the anime, he's trying to pay off his debt. Because Yuko is helping him with this, with these spirits, I suppose you'd call it glomping him, ruining his life. Let's see, then there is Yuko herself. The definition of the word troll. Honestly, you just... You gotta see it and you'll know what I mean. Then, there's Mokina. Mokina describes himself best. Mokina is not a thing. Mokina is Mokina. Got it? There's no other definition for Mokina. None. Let's see, then... Two girls in the shop that I cannot remember the names of. One has pink hair, one has blue hair, you see them in the opening. They don't have souls, so they're trapped in the shop. Yeah. Like I said, this anime is weird. Anyway. Let's see, then there's... Amawarashi. This water spirit who can... Who is that take charge personality? Who knows what she wants. Dislikes humans because they don't treat rain well. And gradually warms up to them. Let's see. Then... There's Himawari. Someone who Watanuki is going crazy for. And I mean absolutely crazy. I don't know why. Maybe it's seen more in the second season. I, I, I don't know. I, there's, I'm just not seeing it. Probably just because of all the comedy that those two bring up when Domaki comes. Oh my goodness. Domaki is how you do an archer good. An archer in a non-action anime well. This guy, he kind of has the opposite effect on spirits as Watanuki. 
Give him a bow, and he'll get rid of a spirit. And he's going to do what it takes. He's the strong, but most of the time silent type. And yeah, he's got girls falling over him left and right. Let's see. I'm not sure if you count him as a character, but the Pipe Fox. The Pipe Fox. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna spoil it. Watch it. And wait for the Pipe Fox. If you can get that far, because like I said, it takes a little bit to get into. Let's see. Remember Amuarashi? Well, she has a younger sister, Zishikiwarashi. Who has this kind of guard patrol that fly on surfboards and will attack Watanuki with fans. Yeah, Zushiki Warashi is madly in love with Wakanuki. And unlike Imawari, I can see these two together. That's right. I said it, fangirls. Go ahead. Attack me. I'm wide open. Don't any of you guys make a sick joke. Anyways, let's see. We covered them, we covered them. A first person ending! Yeah, there are plenty of other characters to go over, but that would ruin some of the parts of the story. And how you see how Yuko's a troll. Hmm. Oh. But yeah, here, let's just... I don't know how to classify this. Is it supernatural? Is it what exactly is Triple X Hollow? Folklore. That's really it. That it It kinda makes you want to be more wary of your actions. There are actually some lessons you can learn from these guys, but I'll save it to your interpretation. And those of you that have seen my channel, you know that I now have a new name for it. I'm the Big Lord Scythe, and this has been my anime rant of Triple X Hall. See you. A first person act!